so there are a lot of variations. Uh, probably get rid of somebody like that. The other guy coming in, for example, all he really needs to do if he doesn't want to do the neck is just put his hand underneath his nose like this and then push up like this, grab on top and start twisting and you can bring the guy to the ground. That's just basically underneath your nose here, this pressure point. Very quick, quick, uh, quick way to get rid of someone. Of course, if he's grabbing them again, grab them again. You can just chop them there. Right, okay, now I've got him now I've got him in a you know, I've got him in a headlock of some sort, right? I'm gonna wrap my hand around here and choke him. You know, I've got him basically works. This is pretty easy to get out of, but the point is you wanna get you wanna get the guy off the girl, which is the big thing. The other way is quite commonly when he grabs him, a lot of times he took his hand off. You notice the other guy's taking his hand off. So at that point you just grab him by the fingers, start twisting. Like if you've got a, a gun grip, you start twisting this way, this guy's going to come along and go with you where you want to go. Now if you want to use a wrist lock this way, wrist lock this way, wrist lock this way, uh, you can take him this way now. Point is you have his fingers. Every time that guy took his, the girl, his hands off the girl's hair, he had one arm free. The other guy that was coming in with the motorcycle helmet could have easily went for a quick quick finger lock. He doesn't have to grab, he can grab two fingers, he can grab as many, he can grab three fingers. Here I rip, rip, and I have a quick uh, total uh, ripping of his hand. So it's a, kind of like a Shaolin total uh, finger lock. So it's very quick. And uh, what I'm saying is this should not have happened to people in the video at all. Please subscribe.